Namaste everyone. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Uh, today the, uh, the topic we'll be talking, this is the part 3, the, that is how does manifestation works from the neuro, neuroscience perspective, uh, part 3. Uh, in part 2, we, we discussed on uh, semantic memories and episodic memory. It's a short term and a long term memory and how, uh, how does the synaptic connections are made and how it gets hardwired. So we learned in, in, the, in the part 2. In part 3, we will, we will you know, understand like different, there are two types of memo, um, memories like declarative and non-declarative uh, memories. That is declarative is an explicit, uh, explicit and whereas a non-declarative memory is an implicit. Uh, we will understand uh, uh, deep into this, how does, how does it uh, work? Declarative memory is simple to understand where you can declare it has explicit memory and conscious awareness. Under that, there are two parts of memories, knowledge and experience. Today, I am sharing new knowledge with you and you are experiencing with this new knowledge and learning from it consciously you are very conscious when i'm talking to you you are focusing and listening consciously this is about facts information that stimulates your thinking and this thinking brain is called neocortex the analytical mind whatever information is shared with you today you are analyzing it and filtering it to decide whether you want to store or reject it. This process occurs in the neocortex brain, also known as philosoph philosophical or analytical brain, which distinguish between human and human and animal or plant beings. This is the most powerful part of the human brain when memories are stored or rejected. There are three types of brains. Neocortex, which is about thinking and processing new information, facts, figures and relationship with our analytical mind. Next, for example, when you are reading a new book or observing information, all that is stored in the analytical brain and intellect, the neocortex or any kind of information like wealth, happiness, um, patience or parenthood, you are very aware that this is stored in the analytical mind you know, and, is, is, and is also called neocortex brain. Now, the second part is experience. Once you apply the information you have learned, once you personalize, personalize it, then you modify it somehow. For example, suppose you... You learn about swimming. You go to swimming class where they teach you all about swimming. And you go or you know you go to a scooter driving class and learn all theory. First you learn theory. Theory about scooter, how is, where is a, uh, a gear, clutch, how when you, you need to stop. That you know you go in, you will uh, you know you learn how to drive the scooter. That is what first you get a theory. You will get a information. Oh, when you actually perform the action, now you have to take action. Now you know theoretically. You have the knowledge. 
okay now i know how to drive the scooty you know how to put the brake how to uh, start how to use the accelerator everything you know you have knowledge now you need to take an action uh, you move from thinking with your analytical mind to experiences now what you'll do you are experiencing it this experience is stored in the second brain called limbic brain which is the feeling brain when you demonstrate an action or do something you generate a feeling you start feeling it and when you drive when you driving the scooty you will feel oh okay i can drive it's so easy before that you just had a knowledge okay oh this is a theory okay i have to do this that when you start driving and you start experiencing and you started feeling it you know uh, oh so nice it's so easy you can just uh, drive you can put the gear you know you can uh, turn on the accelerator and now you're experiencing all this experiencing is stored in your limbic brain and in, and it's also called an emotional brain until it was just a knowledge it was in the neocortex so when it was you had a knowledge it was in neocortex uh, brain but the moment you demonstrated uh, it into action when you took an action you generate a feeling and it is stored in the limbic brain it becomes an emotional being a state of being a state of doing and you experience feelings this is why we meditate i am sharing knowledge or information and i want you to combine knowledge with experience right first you know theoretically you have to do meditation you have to breathe you have to inhale and exhale and then after that once you start take the action and start doing meditation you start feeling it you start uh, feeling and that is stored in your limbic brain uh this is how then you remember this knowledge so now you know that oh, you knew initially that this you need to do meditation you had the knowledge but once you start doing meditation you start experiencing it. and uh, when you when you feel it transformation occurs and change happens right experiencing without knowledge is called ignorance knowledge without experience is called philosophy only when you combine knowledge with experience it is called wisdom and the first time first type of memory is called declarative memory which is express in conscious awareness in our conscious mind conveying knowledge an experience stored in the and stored in the neocortex and limbic brain when the when the mind and the body works together you feel the feeling and developing emotional intelligence whatever you learn intellectually and neurologically you also feeling emotionally which is chemically uh, felt this is this is emotional intelligence eq knowledge is for the mind and experience is for the body and you know you want to do yoga you will have the you will you will watch the master doing and once you start doing you will have the experience to the body right and uh, this is a when you embody the knowledge that is the first part of declarative memory and i want to stop here not declarative memory i will continue in the next uh, video thank you for watching this video if you find any value in this video please like comment and subscribe uh, 
if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, thank you for watching have a blessed day love all serve all